tell us. Tell yeah. us a little bit about what your organization offers, Miami-Dade County Office of Resilience, and you uh, the Climate and Heat Health Program Coordinator. What do you all, what do you all offer, and how do you guys, um, you know, benefit the community and educate the community or serve the community when it comes to this climate and heat health? Yes, yeah, so I definitely want to echo, first of all, things that Dr. Cheryl Holder has said. Um, all of these, everyone is at risk, but this, um, um, these diseases that are related to heat are preventable. So um, in our work, our, a big part of our work is actually to do advocacy, which is also this, well, this conversation that we're having right now. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I definitely encourage people who are tuning in to share this information and to check in, especially with people in their communities or direct relatives who are most vulnerable. So you want to uh, pay particular attention to the older adults in your family, uh, if there are any pregnant women, children, if there are any athletes, if you have pets, um, people with disabilities, or even um, if you have people in your community who are outside workers or who travel long distances outside in order to get to work. Uh, we want to make sure that we check in on them, that they know to uh, bring with them like a bottle or two of water, um, that they uh, fuel on electrolyte drinks if possible, especially if they need to travel outside during the warmest hours of the day. So this would be, uh, you know, especially if you're going towards like noon, uh, that's usually like when the uh, sun is the hottest. So we really want to make sure that people know um, if they can perhaps, uh, you know, like schedule their travel time uh, earlier in the morning um, or like later on in the afternoon. Obviously not everyone is going to have access to uh, the luxury of doing so, but having already this information will help people um, prepare better. And yes, definitely finding shade. Um, not waiting in the sun, not leaving your pets outside. Um, there is definitely great advantage in uh, uh, mentally and physically in spending time outdoors in nature. Uh, data shows us that it has an incredible benefit on our mental health. But if we're spending time outside when it's warm, then the, the benefits are completely wiped off by the fact that our bodies, especially this, um, this, this categories that I've just mentioned, these people have less, their bodies have uh, less ability to adjust to the heat and release the heat. And especially in Florida, um, in, in parts of the world where humidity is high, that makes it even worse for uh, a human body to then like adapt and, and release the heat. So a big part of our work is really to spread this information so that people can become more aware because information is power and community is power. So we need to make sure that we connect with our most vulnerable in our communities and in our families. So, um, yeah. Oh, go ahead. No, I was saying Holder. with Ludovica, what you said is so important because this is a positive thing that we can turn into our communities, our family. You said checking in on people, create that buddy system. You have that grandma, your auntie, anyone who's older. This is a great time to call and check in and let them know that you're there for them. So this heat season, I use it as a season to say, let's reconnect. Let's use it to that checking in to let somebody know you love and care about them. So this can be used as a positive thing to build our community while you're trying to save lives. People always ask me, what can I do? What can I do? I said, you got a lot of older people in your family. If you do, check in on them. If you have babies and things, check in and make sure that their parents are aware. If you have a lawn person who's coming, what better than leaving a bottle of water out there for your lawn person? Because they're cutting in the middle of the heat. And then maybe you tell them cut a little bit later if your association allows it. But if not, put out that extra bottle. You have the, the people, the postal workers, 
they're constantly out there in that heat. You can tip them if you want with a bottle of water. If we can, as a community, get the word out that the heat is real, it's affecting us every minute. Um, you know, it's beyond getting older from getting the skin damage because in 15 minutes, you can get a lot of sunburn. So beyond the sunburn, it's the long-term effect that we see in Dade County, especially of people who are worsening their diabetes, worsening their heart disease, having heart attacks, having all these complications because of the heat. But if our community is aware, you can develop a system of checking in, educating, and protecting each other. 